The reason why we started this farm is to build some kind of family legacy, something tangible that our family can just carry on. My family is small but mighty, and we have taken on a huge endeavor of making a farm dream come true. Ranching really is the opportunity to say like, I have this idea, I have this plan, and it's like, prove it. Sometimes you gotta just get out there and put your hands in the grass and figure it out, you know? A huge part of my day to day is just watching, seeing when the, when the rain's coming over the mountain and, you know, trying to figure out, you know, how that's gonna impact everything. Everything works together. If you come out here and you fight nature, you're gonna have a really bad time. But if you come out here and you work with it, you can get a lot done. When I kind of knew that this was what I wanted to do, I started to draw up my business plan. Just started with napkin math, literally just sitting down at night after work and kind of penciling out like how many sheep, what do they sell for, where do they go. It's kind of showing it to everyone I could like, look, you know, we're, we want to do this, where, how can we start? I had heard about the IDA program through Community Connections, a wonderful organization based on La Grande. The individual development account is a way for people of modest means to get training and have support and raise some capital to invest in their idea or in their business they already have. We could not offer IDAs here if we weren't part of the, a collaborative with organizations across the state. It's just been one of the best things that we've been able to secure as far as resources for business development. Without the support of the IDA to know that we could get through this first year of hay, of fence, of all these things that we needed to purchase to be able to even just get into the game to be able to run the operation. We would have had to start much smaller. We would have had to, you know, still be working a lot more off farm. It wouldn't be possible to even get this type of business started without the support of an IDA. Here we are, which is wild. Every time I look around, because there's seasons when it's really hard and I just have to peek around and just kind of take it all in. I'm like, oh, we're, we're doing this. Oh my gosh. Seeing my daughter especially light up when she sees a fresh lamb that had dropped not even minutes before is so cool. My vision for Northeast Oregon would be one where people can have livelihoods that they find fulfilling and that meet their financial needs but also their needs for community and where people have the opportunity to experience what it feels like to help people they don't know and to be helped by people they don't know. Having a way to start the business that you want to start, go to school, own a home. I mean, there's so many things that you would think were more obtainable, but they're not. Especially if you come from a background of lacking it's really difficult to even think past a daydream. This IDA program gives people the ability to make the impossible more tangible. It's one thing when you're established, you have access to loan products, you have access to connections to get you started, you know, that, th those things are helpful, but when you're starting from scratch, grants like the IDA are crucial for supporting new enterprise in the state of Oregon.